Need race. Ace Five Studios has race. Hey, so in this video, we're going to be customizing characters from the 5K pack from Ace Five Studios, and we're just going to have a little overview of what can be done. So, initially, all these characters come with all the clothes that you see uh, copy inside each character. So, if we go to this character here and we click on the clothes and we press the S key to focus down where it is here, so if you press, if you unfold this 5K mail, you will see that all the other clothes is hidden. So, what we should do first is we should grab this top null. Let's copy it, make a new file, press Control N and paste it in here. And now we can start deciding, like we can, for example, obviously the first stuff we can do is we can change what's on his head. So we can go in head stuff, hair bits, and we can hide the full cap, and we can, we have this curly hair here, we have this cool hair, <laughs> cool hair here. Yeah, so we have, and there's a whole bunch of them. There's a little balding hair thing here. There's a side wave. And obviously you can change the materials on them, so, just go to the object manager and there's some hair materials. You can make customize them yourself to whatever color you want. So give them some blue hair here without any issue, without any trouble. It's not a texture, it's just a material. And furthermore, we can then go down towards the clothes in the mesh here category. So if we want, we can hide the overalls and the t-shirt short, the t-shirt crop, and we can just give them some long pants, for example, and we can give them a polo shirt. As you can see, we have two polo shorts here, one which is uh, a short one, because sometimes with the shorts you want a shorter one, and we have a longer one uh, for diff depending on what kind of clothes you're combining it with. If you ever have any problems and you want to change these, all of those clothes is easily customizable. So you can select this shirt here, and if you go down to it, just turn off the surface layer here, and now you can select this polo shirt, and you can go into point mode, and we can, for example, you know, select these points at the bottom here, and we can scale them out or we can move them. Don't move them up and down too much because you want to keep the horizontal spans like these. Like if you have a look at this shirt, let's turn on our display shading and let's talk, turn off our subdivision and this guy as well. You will see that the horizontal lines line up pretty accurately be between the objects. That's what uh, allows for easy deformation. If they don't line up, like if you move them too far down, you will get uh, pieces of clothing showing through each other. So try to keep the horizontals as they are, and you can just change the width um, or you know the general kind of, you can change the shape that way. So if you want to make them look a bit thicker, that is possible. You can also use like the brush tool if you're in point mode. You can right click and you can use the brush tool. <clears throat> Where is it? Brush, brush. There it is. Just make sure you don't have any points selected and then you can adjust for example you can make the sleeves wider and then all you have to do is you have to click the surface object you have to click initialize and then you turn it back on and now say it still deforms with the object to display back to garage shading and the color of this is also easily changeable here as you can see we have some yellow as a base and then we have some sleeve selections for the black so we can Oops, we can go to the material manager here and we can put the pink into there. So you have the pink sleeves or you can put green in there. And these guys here, that's the color. The color is also separate. So if you want, you can make the color dark brown, for example. So you have freedom here to change the colors pretty easily. And you can also change the shape of the clothes. Uh, you can also delete some of the shapes of the clothes. For example, on this polo shirt, let's turn this off. If you want to make it like more of a you know, uh, a sleeveless shirt. You can use the V select and loop selection. I mean, it's off screen right now, but here it's select the loop selection. And you can, for example, select, let's turn off the cloth surface so it doesn't get in the way. You can select this sleeve here and shift select this sleeve here. And then you can go V select and expand selection. Um, is it grow selection. Maybe do that a couple of times. Grow selection. Maybe that's too much. No, let's select <laughs> like this and then let's just use the selection set to select these, the rest of these. Actually, we can just select the green polygons. We could just double click on this sleeve here. Nope, this sleeve here. And we can hit delete. And now we have a kind of a short sleeve version of it. And if we turn on the cloth surface, we even have a bit of thickness. But if you want to close this in, what I would suggest doing is just select the edges. So go to move tool, go to edge tool, edge mode, and just double click these edges here. 
Maybe go here to turn on symmetry. So we do both sides at once. And then just use the scale tool and hold the control key to just scale it in. And there you go, you have this little kind of short sleeve vest thing going on, which you can use. And then just enable, go to surface again, press initialize, turn the tick on. And, you know, this works, everything deforms together. So you have a lot of options to customize the clothes. You can also obviously, whilst this is turned off, you can select um, you can select the color and uh, once again, use the selection tags. So select it and then go right click and find the brush tool in there. And then you can you know change the size of it. You can change the height of it. Um, don't put it up too high because then it'll be affected by the head movement. So if you put it up too high, for example, now when we turn initialize on and turn it on, now when we move the head, Oh no, the head is separate, so you're fine. <laughs> you're good because it's, the head isn't part of the mesh, but the neck here will affect the color. So <clears throat> yeah, you have this kind of freedom and you can do this with all the objects here. And there's a bunch of them there, as we saw in the file here, we have shorts and t-shirts and all kinds of stuff. And if you combine any of them together and you have some you know, inconsistencies or you have some problems around the waist, you can just edit it and then initialize the surface again. Um, the same thing, the shoes currently are just a uh, color layer so if the shoes are they are just this selection object here so it's like there's a selection set so we can just stick any color we want we can make them red if we want so yeah that customization there obviously all the clothes have just regular materials on them which you can find and you can adjust them so this one's pink you can go and make it green if you want or red um, what else do we have which we can customize oh we also the noise here I made it a separate mesh um, and the ears, obviously, also you can you have space there. So currently we have the symmetry, and we have the ears here. We also seem to have an old ear. What's the old ear look like? Uh, yeah, don't use that. <laughs> so we just have this ear here, and we can rotate it so we can change where it looks. You can also scale it freely. So you have this kind of control to modify your characters depending on what kind of thing you're building. And the nose as well. I made it. A, it's a separate object. So. You don't affect the face rig or anything. You can scale it up. You can make it wider if you want. Or you can use, again, in point mode, you can use the brush tool. Um, losing the brush tool. I hear it's on the left here, brush tool, yes. So make sure no, none of the points are selected because if this point is selected, then you can only move that one point. Just so deselect everything. And you can modify the nose shape. There is also a couple of other noses in here, but um, they probably need a symmetry tool because yeah, they should be. I just move it up. There you go. So you have a bit rounder nose, and this one, and yeah, this one as well. Um, but so basically, yeah, and you can make your own noses for this pretty easily without breaking anything. Um, that's about it, I think. That's the main points of the clothes and customizing the hair. Also, the hair, obviously, you can modify it because it's just a polygon object. So this one actually comes with a couple of different objects, so you don't break it. We have this front piece, which you can hide, um, which it gives you the bowling head. But here, if you just go into point mode, you can use the brush tool to modify, make it bigger, or, you know, there's freedom here to build what it is you need. And similar to the other hair as well, it's they're all... You know, like this hair here as well has a bunch. Oh, this one's just a single object, but again, you can just double click in the move tool just while you're in the polygon mode and you can select individual pieces and then you can use the brush tool to just modify them. Or if you select nothing, then you can modify the whole hair. So that's it. If you have any questions, you want to ask in the comments, this pack is available on ace5studios.com and go check it out. Thanks for watching, and remember that if you need rigs, Ace5 Studios has rigs. Just check out our website. We have a bunch of free rigs up top here, and then we have some premium rigs. We have Mia and Celeste and Marty and Meldon, and there's also a bunch of packs where you can build your own characters, and there's the 5K pack and the most simple 5J pack of stock characters, even some 5J kids, and some Studio Light Kits for Octane, and there's a bunch of cats and other animals that Maria made, and there's hats and stuff packs, and there's Five Man, and there's this simple toilet man, and all kinds of stuff. And if you have a look, we can see Marty is a fully rigged character. You can do facial expressions. You have a fully facial rig. Um, you have, you know, you can pose him in different poses. 
Um, there's just you know simple controllers, and all the other characters have the same thing. Melvin is also fully rigged. He's the child of the so sure, Ace Five family, so to say. And then we also have Celeste here. Is also a fully rigged face. Um, has different clothes. You can pose her. You can use your, your own avatar. Mia has the same stuff. Um, you know, also fully rigged, fully ready to go. And then we have the body pack, which is when combined with the face pack and the arms and legs pack, you can use it to build your own characters quite easily because you don't have to rig each part. You can just stick them together like a Lego set. And yeah, you can create your characters way faster. And finally, we have the 5K character pack, which is the newest pack that we have. We have a bunch of clothes and some basic face rigs so you can actually make them talk and smile and show emotions. And it's also, it has good clean topology. It's full EV map, so it's open to all kinds of customizations. Thanks.